Okay, we're back. And so now this is going to be the time where we take on the gym because we really need to start opening up the world because right now we can't do a whole lot except stay in this upper area. But yeah, we have uh, the gym which we are free to experience. The trainers here have a secret have secret motives. If you win, they may tell you some deep secrets about Ikertech. Never mind the fact that we're fighting ghosts and he doesn't bother to tell you anything about it, but eh, that's fine. Uh, how do I want to start this out? Let's have Kodelka fight... No, actually let's have Rudo, because I think she'll be okay for this first trainer. Uh, can you inflict any damage on our Pokémon? Hopefully I can. In fact, I hope to get some one hit the KOs because Sage Ping has five Pokemon and they're all ghastly, which are freaky looking. The hope is that Rudo outspeeds all of them and gets a lot of EXP from this. I could probably have used Taj, but nah. So, you can expect a lot of one-hit KOs, so uh, I'm going to skip out on this because if there is anything interesting I want to talk about, I'll do it with the other trainers, because they'll be a little higher level. It should be noted that if Eevee had Bite at this point, or if Rudo had Bite, um, they would go down twice as hard. Although, admittedly, you probably would be doing maybe more damage with Surf than you would Bite, but that's kind of hard to say. So, you probably want... Oh, I didn't talk to you. We use only Ghost Pokemon. No normal type can harm them. Now you might be wondering, how do you cross here? Well, the trick is you want to get in line of their sight, where they'll move, I guess, and then you go forward to where the next trainer is that you can potentially see. It's like an S, or it's like a curve. Stumbled by our invisible floor. Oh, oh, she'll probably tell. Uh, I think this is a medium or... Uh, was it? Yeah, Medium Grace. Yeah, they're kind of like the mediums in... Oh, right, I just realized I still have Rudo in front. Um, yeah, that's okay. So, Haunter is probably going to outspeed... Yeah, Lick. 20 power ghost type move. Uh, very weak, with a pretty good chance of paralysis. I did give Rudo a paralysis cure berry, and... Oh my god, he actually survived. Curse... And yeah, <laughs> these trainers are stupid like that. They just decide to kamikaze and you just... Oh no, wait, she had two Pokemon? Huh, that's weird. Oh yeah, and since, um, what is it? Uh, since I one hit KO and it just switches to the next Pokemon, I don't get hit with Curse, at least not yet. But... I am going to switch to Kodelka because I want to get some damage off. Hopefully... Okay, use a Spite. Uh, that's a move you haven't seen. If it, if you use a move and then it uses Spite, it'll reduce... Okay, thank you, because I think that'll... I think Fire Punch will KO. Um, if it works, it'll reduce the power points of a move that was just recently used. It's pretty annoying. In fact, in later games, if you combine Spite with Pressure, you can really drain the power points of strong moves, potentially, to where they can't use anything. So, that's something to note. Really should have Kodelka in, in the front. There we go. Actually, there's not many trainers left. Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the invisible floor. The path is right before our eyes. 
yeah, you can't skip ahead like this. You have to kind of... The way it is, you also want to line it with those pillars and where they're located. That way you can get through. I spent the spring with my Pokemon. Then summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. I like how it's sort of kind of like poetic when you think about it. It's like the changing of the seasons and Jeffrey is kind of a cool guy. Also, he's got a haunter as well. Level 22. It's weird that I thought it maybe would have been level 21, but that's not the case. It uses curse. I don't know if fire punch is going to KO because uh, the ghastly line has pretty good... Or it has decent special defense. And there's Spite actually working this time. Fire Punch was reduced by 3. I want to say that the amount of power points reduction... The reduction of the power points is like between 2 and 5? Or at least 2 and 4. But I could be wrong. Gotta level up. There we go. Wins and losses. Both experienced. Even more poetic. Where did Pokemon come from? Oh, that's it? I, I expected something a little more, but... Eh, that's, that's okay. Uh, who do I want to use for this? Uh, let's use Taj. I don't know if I'm going to use Love Mag in this one, although it's just for defensive purposes, probably. And there's Salt Snake up there. You shall win. For you are... Uh... Maybe the boss, or maybe your Olga. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of Mel Gear Solid character in four. Oh, okay. I'm saying this is somebody who's not into the games, but oh, so I actually just realized, uh, probably a bad idea in this fight. Um, Taj has Mud Slap, which is only ten power points. I need to be really careful because I could be stuck in a losing scenario for him because these haunters and or these ghost Pokemon also have a move called Mean Look and if I'm not careful I could be trapped until I faint. But fortunately uh, I'll use Mud Slap here. Use Lick again. Kind of surprised I haven't gotten uh, paralysis yet. Ooh, crit! Come on, use curse. Or oh wait, you have. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Taj has uh, the quick claw. Duh. He doesn't have soft sand yet, and he doesn't have a particularly good ground move. One more ghastly. Oh yeah, and spite won't work if it's like a new Pokemon switched in. I think it, because it's like it doesn't recognize every, nice Quick Claw, oh my god. I think that's gonna stay on you for the rest of time, probably. Martha is defeated. Oh yeah, I was talking about the mediums from uh, Johto. A lot of them are usually like possessed by ghost Pokemon. That's why their sprites look weird, especially here. Uh, the only one who wants to when most will. Oh, okay. I, I probably didn't even read that quote correctly, but that's fine. Who do I want to use here? Uh, I'm not going to use Love Mag. Never mind. I, I'd use Tetra, but the biggest problem is she doesn't have the best of moves. Like, uh, oh. I guess I can just go straight. I, I thought I had to go all the way to the end, or maybe it's just go straight forward. Okay. Um, I will do a quick heal, and hopefully I have everything I need. Alright, we are now going to fight uh, Morty, who... He remembers our face because we were in the Burn Tower with him, at least for the moment. Although he was more babysitting Usain, I would say. Particularly if it was... Uh, the remakes, because Usain's kind of a hyperactive dolt when it becomes 
when when it comes this weekend. Uh, here in Ecotic City, pe but Pokemon have been revered. It's said that rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down here for a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I've secretly trained here all my life. It's all I can see what others cannot. Oh, he does see. Oh, okay. Because I remember the anime. He kind of had this interest in Ho, while kind of like what Usain has with Suicune. I'm thinking about it now, I think those letters almost are an anagram of Suicune, but anyway. Uh, just a bit more, a little bit more, I could see the future Pokemon, Rainbow Colors. In the remake, I really like Morty's design. Here, it's kind of just okay. Like, it's just a lot of purple. I mean, he, he has kind of more maybe an edgy look to him, but anyway, Morty, he's a pretty uh, potentially dangerous trainer, especially in the remake, because here, uh, the Ghost-type Pokemon can't really take advantage of their movesets, but they work just fine. Uh, his first Pokemon, Ghastly, level 21, it doesn't take it out, but it just uses Curse to potentially hinder me, which is fine. Next Pokemon, Haunter. If memory serves, he has two Haunters. Uh, level 21 and probably like 23. His ace is at 25, which is well above what I have, but we can work with it. Hypnosis, that was very dangerous. Uh, this isn't gonna... Oh my god, that did next to nothing. We're going to switch... The question is, who do I switch to? He's probably going to use Curse, or he's going to use Hypnosis again. I want to use... Hmm. Actually, let's use Fire Punch one more time. And then we are going to switch Kodelka right on out. Oh, okay. It just KO'd. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so that's two down, and his next is... Wait, is he sending his ace out right now? Yes, this is Gengar, his level uh, 25 ace. He is a special attacker powerhouse, and really tough. He also has a signature move, which he will probably use right here. Which is why I'm switching to Medusa, because it won't do anything. Shadow Ball. It is... I think it's a 90 power ghost move. Now, when I say it can't use its potential, by that I mean... Um, Shadow Ball is a physical move, considering ghosts are considered a physical typing. In later games, uh, Shadow Ball becomes a special attack, and it hits hard. Really hard. Mean look. I am trapped until one of us faints, or you find a way to get out. Fortunately, Gengar probably can't do anything to me. At least, I don't think it can. I mean, it can use Hypnosis, it can use Shadow Ball, Mean Look... Wait, does it have Dream Eater? Shoot, I don't actually remember. <gasps> yes, it does! Never mind, I'm stupid because I thought... In, and oh my god, it just healed everything back. So, uh, it's a good thing I used uh, Scary Face earlier because otherwise it would outspeed everything. So, yeah. Fortunately, we do have. Uh, I wonder if Taj can. Yeah, we're gonna switch to Taj because he'll be able to potentially mudslap oh wait I just realized if he uses mean look then I can't do anything else okay use hypnosis also I just realized I got very lucky with another one okay uh, don't use mean look okay he uses hypnosis so he'll go right into dream eater Fortunately, I've hindered him enough to where I think Kodelka can do some good damage. 
In fact, I think Odalka will outspeed. Yeah, there's Dream Eater. Yep. That was perfect combo. I was kind of hoping it had Curse also. Okay, yeah, there's Shadow Ball. Uh, it's just sort of kind of like a wait. Oh my god, it actually did a lot of damage. Um... Hmm. Let's use Tetra. I'm sure she can... Okay, I, I forgot Razor Leaf is up top because I sorted it that way. I think this will... Wow, that was a critical and didn't do anything. And Hypnosis. Um... I need to switch! Uh, Love Mag. <laughs> you might be faster. I hope. If not, then I'm kind of in trouble. Oh my god. Uh, actually, I'm going to stay in because I did hit him with two Mud Slaps. And Dream Eater, okay, it's a special, but he's not going to get much out of, uh, what's it called? Against a Steel type. He might two hit KO, but I think Rudo will be able to outspeed. Oh my god, that was a lot. Come on, wake up, damn it. Okay, sleep status. Usually it's like supposed to be two to four turns, but I'm kind of getting unlucky with waking up. Which is really strange, if I'm being honest here. Bruto, it's up to you. There you are. <laughs> Couldn't find you for a sec. Fortunately, she has enough surfs, and I think this might do just enough damage. And if it doesn't, well, I might be in trouble. Nope. Surf is just that good of a move. And everybody gets experience. Not level, but that's fine. And his final Pokemon, a Haunter. Yep, level 23, as I expected. Uh, Nightshade. That's a move we haven't seen. It's a pretty decent move. It does damage based on your level. So it'll do 23 damage every time with Honor. In case you're facing a bulky Pokemon, well, it's perfect. Uh, Spite... Ooh, reduced it by 4. But fortunately I had more than enough Surfs coming in. I think this will put me like less than 5, but it doesn't matter because... We won! It was a full team effort, uh, sort of, I think. Morty is defeated, we have taken down half the gym leaders, and we get the Fog Badge, which is... I don't remember what it looked like, but... I imagine it's... In the remake, he has probably one of the coolest dungeons, redesigns, and, like, fights, so he's definitely one of those higher tier gym leaders. But... I didn't realize he had... his Gengar had Dream Eater in this game. I think it was the later one that he had Sucker Punch instead, while still having Hypnosis. But anyway, uh, Pokemon can surf now, and we get TM30, which is Shadow Ball. Really good attack, depending on what Pokemon you give it to. Uh, causes damage and reduces special defense. They made some big mistakes in this game, or at least for a while until they fixed it. It's similar to another move, Crunch, which you probably won't see much of, but uh, I see your journey taking you far away places. Much more than I envy you for that. So let's be on our way and heal our weary Pokemon. Did great. Cowering in the corner, pure terror, that's why you didn't give me hints, you jerk. But I was expecting Medusa to do a bit more, and then I forgot got about Hypnosis and Dream Eater in this game. But yeah, a uh, funny thing you can do um, in later games, you can defeat the Gengar with apparently a level 1 Togepi that you get. Yeah, I say level 1 because it's not level 5 from hatching. They, they changed it from level 5 to level 1 as far as hatching Pokemon. So, uh, there's that. But, 
Now that we've gotten Surf, we can uh, take some trips across the water and get some items we couldn't before. Namely, there is... nothing here. Can I use the item finder? Oh! There is something, okay. Uh, let's surf across the water. And we have a lapper suddenly, because... That's how it works? I feel like I should know. The theme's pretty cool. It's not somewhere else, is it? Oh yeah, and while you're surfing, you can encounter wild Pokemon, but... That's fine. Hmm. Where is it? Oh, it's just right in this corner. Okay. I could have sworn maybe... Okay, maybe later game they redesigned it to have something up there, but I'm not concerned about that. So we're going to go to some places and surf. So I will be cutting and be right back. <laughs> 